Well, obviously, uh, we had a, a big moment to come in here and pick up a UFC win. Just talk about the emotion. Uh, it's a dream come true, really. I mean, uh, I feel like if I would have gotten here any sooner in my career, I wouldn't have been uh, ready for the, the moment. So I really think everything that I've done so far, just the stars were aligned for me to be able to uh, get this win tonight against such a tough dude like Berkman come out and uh, just do enough to get that decision win over such a, a really savvy guy that's been around the sport for longer than uh, I've even known what MMA is, really. So. I was going to say, what was the feeling? I mean, not only did, to make a UFC debut, but like you said, against a guy like that, to be on the main card, I mean, were, were there nerves, were there the excitement? What was the feel? You know, it was kind of a, an eerie sense of calmness. I, I really felt like, um, I don't know if it was just the preparation, all the visualization of me just knowing that I was going to be here one day, but I really felt comfortable once I got in there. Uh, it, it wasn't nerve-wracking by the crowd or the cameras. I really felt at home and uh, just was able to go out there and let it out, let it flow. Um, I feel like it was a little bit more of a chess match. Um, he was, you know, we we're both switching stances a lot, very similar styles. Um, normally I finish guys, um, but he was just too tough to finish tonight. Yeah, it was interesting how it kind of all played out. I wonder, I mean, are you happy overall with the performance? Certainly, I know you're happy with the result, but do you feel good about it? Uh, I'm happy with the result. Um, I know already without looking back at video yet or anything that there were some moments that I could have really done way better and, and tightened up my game. So I can't wait to get back to the drawing board, uh, really break that video down and see where I can improve. It seemed like you controlled most of the fight. So when the scores are being read out, what, what's, what's going through your head at that point? Yeah, you know, it, usually for me in the fight, if I'm not completely dominating, I feel like I'm losing. So I'm always looking to, to you know, get that win that, that next minute, win that next minute. And then, you know, when it's all said and done, it, you know, I can't, it's done and just kind of leave it where it is. So, um, I, you know, I'd really have to watch the tape back. Um, I felt like I was in control of a lot of the exchanges. He did have the takedown in the last round, but I don't feel like he was doing much with it. So um, I, don't, I don't know, you know, all I can control is what I can control, and that's just winning the exchanges and looking to finish the fight. I think the, the, the uh, report on you was that you were more of a submission guy coming into this fight. It didn't necessarily play out that way. I mean, do you feel like you got to show that you're not just a, a submission guy? Yeah, totally. I mean, uh, a lot of the submissions I had on the regional level coming up were after I dropped guys on the feet. So, um, you know, it's not something that is noted as an asterisk or anything next to your, your win and loss column. So I was able to, you know, display that a little bit, uh, kind of show what I have on the feet. Um, I wish I would have been able to land that takedown a little sooner in the third round. Uh, maybe I could have made something happen with that rear naked choke or some other submission. But he was really hard to take down. I, I could really feel the stability in his hips uh, when I went for that first takedown. So. Where do you feel like you go from here? I mean, you know, you come in on such a big platform against such a big name opponent. You said, you know, you wouldn't have been ready before now. So what's next? What do you see for yourself? Um, I'm really uh, just excited to be here. Um, I'm going to go back to the drawing board, get a little, you know, a little better, 1% better every day, and uh, see what the UFC and see what my managers, ha my managers have for me in the future. But I can't wait for the next one.